And Michelle and Eric, you can tell that a lot of people have Elsa on their minds right now. Michelle was just talking about the gas pump. We are seeing shortages at some gas stations. And also, we're seeing a lot of people talking on Facebook, too. I see here Sarah says, could Southwest Florida see Elsa sooner than projected because of how fast she's moving, Eric? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, yesterday, or I think it was Wednesday, Elsa was projected to be close to Southwest Florida Wednesday morning of next week. Now, it looks like Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon. I don't think it's going to be a drastic uh, period of time before Tuesday, in fact. Uh, but again, we're keeping the eye on this as it is moving quickly to the west at 30 miles per hour. Again, it is a Category 1 hurricane, 85 mile per hour maximum sustained wind. I don't expect this to strengthen much more. I'll show you why in just a minute, but I want to take a close up of the cone. And remember yesterday, I showed you that it was west of the previous day. Right now, uh, it looks like it's pretty much on par of where it was yesterday at this time. So again, it would put it to the west of southwest Florida sometime late morning or into the early afternoon Tuesday. But there's a lot of variables. In fact, some of the models take this to the east of eastern Florida. Some take this well into the central portion of the Gulf of Mexico and into the panhandle. It's going to have a lot of interaction with Cuba and that is going to determine how strong Elsa is by the time it even makes its way into our neck of the woods. Also, we are seeing some westerly wind shear. Notice the great convection about six hours ago right there. You see the purples? Well, now you don't see the purples, in fact. So it almost looks like we're seeing some signs of weakening. It looks like some drier air is being pulled into the western and southern portion of the storm, and we're getting that westerly wind shear as well, and that's not helping things out. So you see on the east side of the storm, it looks pretty good. That's where the heaviest of the rain and wind is for now, but almost starting to see some disorganization here on the west side of the storm, and I do think it's because it's moving so fast that the middle part of the storm is moving quicker than the surface of the storm, so it's kind of breaking apart. It's not what we call vertically stacked. So again, that works in our favor to potentially weaken Elsa, but we have got a lot of time to watch this this weekend and into early next week.